Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server on Linux operating system which is uh, we have two uh, different kinds of operating system which is based on the Linux okay right now I am going to show you the on Ubuntu operating system okay so before going to that if you go to that Ubuntu page so here we have two versions one is Ubuntu 20 and 21 uh, Ubuntu 20 is LTS long term support and Ubuntu is, this is the latest version an unstable version if you go to the official website of Microsoft if you see that Ubuntu 2 is a supported starting version of SQL Server 19 I have tried to install on the 21 but it is getting failed so later I came to know by various forums uh, like uh, SQL Server is only supported up to Ubuntu 20.04 only. It is not going to yet supported for Ubuntu 21.10.10. Okay, so if you go there and uh, first download the web, uh, LTS. So if you download that, I have already downloaded for first for uh, to show you. I mean, like a just to reach trial period. Okay, okay. okay to show you that i have tried to downloading but i did currently doesn't require for me okay so i have installed a vmware workstation uh, click click on new what's your mission next go to that see here i have down already downloaded two version but 21 is not yet supported so i am selecting 20 only next I'm giving next name can be anything one two three one two three next so let it be click on virtual web give the 60 storage space next next finish Next, now right click on the before going to that, uh, click on activities, click software center, update. Here I am stopping the updates, remind me later. open click on open in terminal now come back go to this copy this command go back paste it Now we are installing open to 20 and 04 right so we need to select this copy paste it
one now it is we have installed the sql server now it is asking to run this setup okay let's see that it is it is uh, now we are it is it is asking me to install which version of sql server we need to install uh, so here uh, evolution is like free but it is one eight date limit uh, now i am going to select developer version type yes We have entered very uh, the password with complexity. Now here you are able to see that that SQL Server is currently running. Okay. Now come back here. If you want to see the status, you can using you can see the status by this command. So here you can able to see that service is running now it is we need to install this command to as well type yes Yeah, copy this one and push. Sorry, copy this one. Yeah, come down, copy this for for we are using Ubuntu 20 now so that's the reason state okay this command Copy the password and paste in the notepad. Here you need to enter the user your username. Sorry, your password. Why am why am we are typing this uh, in the command prompt? It won't be uh, possible how many character it won't be visible that for us that how many characters we typed it. So that's the reason I manually typed here. Okay. If you see here, 
yeah i'm correct if you see select star from sys dot databases go i got see uh, i got the result okay so i have connected locally i have no issues to connect the sql server from locally but uh, right now i want to connect the sql server from remotely so for this so what i am doing i am switching this to which i am i am resuming my windows 8 operating system no I think there is an issue no problem so here what I am going to do I am going to allow the SQL server to connect from to do this what we need to so first we need to exit here and type the command paste it here sudo ufw allow one for double three port yeah also so we need to see if config so if config is not installed it is asking me to install that copy and paste it so type the ip config and here copy the ip address go to the windows operating system where you you can have connection uh, internet uh, working work group so both operating systems are in work group only here paste that ip disconnect so here I am able to connect. If you see here, select terabit version execute. If you see here, so here you can able to see Ubuntu LT operating system. And currently, if you see at uh, SQL agent got disabled and we don't have any option to uh, start as well. Okay. To enable this agent by for to the for in Ubuntu for a SQL Server 2019 on SQL uh, Linux operating system with the, the MS SQL package contains agent as well. The only thing we need to enable this agent. How we can do that? Here we have a command. Come back. Just copy these two command. Go to that Ubuntu. And paste it okay now go back to windows select this and restart refresh it see the agent sql server agent got started so now if you see here in the windows we don't have any windows icon here but coming to linux we have that like a penguin icon okay so this is how you need to install sql server and ubuntu operating system only thing oh, once you install the operating system and everything okay you need to fully update all the packages in the operating system or if you are not able to install just disable that so that no log file will, will be created okay so everything will be fine if you face any errors like uh, so and so file package will not be installed because of it is getting logged by some other process so at that time so you have to check is there any update uh, update process or going or in software update if it is going you have to wait that, uh, that complete or you need you can restart the system after restarting certain that log got released with safety Okay, or you can kill, but it is not recommended. I will prefer registering the uh, Ubuntu operating system with the best solution so that you will not furtherly, you don't get any uh, issues. Why? Because I am a Windows guy. So I always prefer 
uh, to easy methods okay okay and uh, I will give the all the these my official Microsoft documentation links in the description bar to be handy for you as well just install the same in your environment and let me know what are the errors that you face and how you overcome and also if you are looking any assistance please let me know whenever my free time is there or my subscribers is also will do comment on your queries thank you